town. Uh, a, a while back, you said that the only person who would be able to meet, uh, beat Mayweather would be Rigandel, but he's of course too small to to fight him. But now that he's facing Lomachenko, how do you see him going up against him? Look, Loma, Loma, Lomachenko is, is 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 the bigger guy, and Lomachenko throws a lot more punches than than Rigondeau. So I think Lomachenko wins, but it, it, it's it's gonna be a a chess match. Uh, you know. Rigondeau is very skillful. He fights very smart and it's very fast, but doesn't throw that many punches. He uh, he doesn't average that many punches per round. So, uh, being that Loma is the bigger guy, faster guy, I pick Loma to win a decision. But uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if if uh, Rigondeau pulls it off. I I would actually want to see that because a lot of people are counting him out and a lot of people, are, you know don't enjoy his fights a lot of people think he's boring but when it comes to to this fight against Loma I think he's gonna he's gonna bring the best the best uh, Rigondeau out there and we're gonna see a great a great fighter in the ring is it gonna affect Rigondeau at all or at some point uh, moving up to 130 for this fight how, how much more can it affect him you know maybe he is you know going up two divisions but He's he's already not he's he already doesn't get the fights that he wants. He already doesn't get the credit that he deserves. He already gets TV not to pretty much buy his fights. So he's got nothing to lose. He you know he took this chance because that's the only chance out there, and he's got a good chance of winning it. So so it won't affect him. I think it's gonna benefit him because if he wins, he's, he's he's gonna be you know he's gonna be on top of the world. And if he loses, he goes back down and becomes champion at 122 again and continues doing his title defenses maybe once a year, but still, he's still a champion. This is a big fight along with, you know, the fight that we want to see with Linares and Mikey Garcia. Um, this big fight that just happened, what is it, like two weeks ago now with Canelo Golovkin. Before I let you go, I just want to know uh, what you thought about, how did you see it? Did you see it as a draw or differently? It was a hell of a fight. I think it was great for boxing. The numbers were great. The gate was awesome, you know, so it, it was great for boxing. I There, after the fight, I was okay with the draw. I uh, I think I think uh, the draw was good because the fight was very close. Could have been one or two points either way. So I'm okay with the draw. I think it just it only gives us it's only going to give us a better fight when they do the rematch, which I think it it will happen next year. So we're just going to see a great a great rematch. I think uh, the rematch is going to be even better. How do you think each fighter is going to adjust? I think Anello has. As a, you know, he's young. He's 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 still learning. So I think if if somebody adjusts, it's going to be Canelo. I think Triple G already his age, and uh, uh, I think I think he's he's going to fight the same. Maybe maybe be a little more aggressive, cut the ring a little more. But I think it's only going to be a better. Can I think I think we're going to see a, a a lot better Canelo than a Triple G could be. Well, we'll see what about that. And actually, I do have one more question that I heard through the grapevine. I heard, I heard that um, um, Brandon Rios is coming back to you. Is there any truth to that? No, that, that's true. You know, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Brandon started texting me, and the questions that he was telling me, the things that he was telling me, I kind of knew something was going on. So right away, I called him, and uh, we talked about it. He told me, look, bro, I don't think I'm going to be going to to Ricky anymore the drive is is, is is hard I have kids they're in school so I have to I have to I can't really do the drive so I asked him what, what do you want to do and he says well there's no other options here you know there's no gyms where I want you know where I could go besides the ones that he mentioned yeah. and I told him nah, you can't go to those gyms bro so I, I, I told him no you're not gonna go to those gyms let me uh, let me drive to Oxnard and uh, by the time I get there I have a good plan for you so I got there I brought in Donald Leary who was my assistant with with uh, with uh, with Brandon throughout his career? Donald was a great great uh, great person, good trainer now. So so that's who that's who he's training with. He's he's training at the RGBA in Oxnard. It's a smaller gym, but he's happy yeah. there. He's happy, and uh, uh, after Abner Mattis fight, I'll be driving in uh, at least twice a week to to train and and guide them. But Donald Leary will be the one doing most of the work. You, you guys have always kept that relationship. I know you're his padrino, and, and, and that relationship has always been there. So we look forward to, to seeing you two together up in the ring very soon. Thank, Thank you, very you very so much again. It will and be soon. It will be yes. Soon. Oh, yeah. Okay.
there you go, you guys. Uh, stay tuned for, for all these fights. We mentioned yeah. so many fights. All right, guys, th thank you so much. <laughs>